computer programs can calculate our intelligence, our blood pressure, and our heart rate. But can computers calculate our future? The digital revolution opens up new possibilities. Almost everything we now do is recorded and stored. But do our digital footprints really represent who we are? And if they do, can they be used to tell our future? We're in the midst of a revolution, whether we like it or not. It's called Big Data. In 2013 alone, we produced more data than in the entire history of mankind. Almost four and a half billion terabytes. Since then, we've been producing a further two and a half million terabytes every day. With our smartphones, we constantly generate data about ourselves and our environment. The sensors and cameras in our smartphones, vehicles and computers record where we are and what we do. This data explosion changes the way we live our lives. Text, photographs, sounds, even odors, everything can now be translated into numbers. So have our whole lives become computable? Our two directors, Pina and Jacob, want to find out. Scientists search for patterns in the data we produce to calculate the future from the past. This is called predictive analytics. Can they tell our personal future by looking at our data? Pina and Jacob meet two specialists for predictive analytics. Computer experts from the German Fraunhofer Institute and Bonn University have set up a special experiment for us. For two months, Pina and Jacob would allow these total strangers full access to their smartphone data. A special smartphone app transmits all their data to Georg Fuchs and Alexander Markovitz. These scientists know nothing about Pina and Jacob, yet they hope to construct an accurate model of their lives and their behavior. We want to find patterns like when and where are you? Who do you call regularly? When do you send a text message? To whom? We can see what apps you use and when. We'll look at regular patterns to describe your typical behavior and then predict your future behavior from it. We look for these regular patterns. That's a real challenge for us because you travel so much. We really want to see what we can find out. I think it would be cool to discover habits that even you yourselves don't know about. Some you may be proud of, others less so. I'm not talking about big things, but stuff that makes you think, hey, if I'd stopped doing that, I might become a better person. 